So we're here for Werribee TV at Avalon Airport Oval and I'm having just a little bit of a hard time containing myself at the moment because standing beside me is AFL Premiership coach Mark Williams, better known to the footy world as Choco. And as you've probably heard because uh, people have blown up our website reading about it, he has signed on for 2019 as the new senior coach of Werribee. Uh, Mark, welcome to Werribee. I'm pretty excited if you can't half tell. How are you feeling about it? Yes, the same thing. You know, it's wonderful to, to be here. I was... Uh blown away by uh, the facilities that I saw when I uh, came down to, to look at the place and uh, talk about maybe coaching and, uh, you know, really excited about uh, 2019. You've touched on the facilities there. Um, you're someone who's been to the top of the coaching world, obviously, and, and been in demand in the AFL coaching landscape in, in recent years. Um, what, what was the whole package that made you want to uh, come down and, and sign on with us for 2019? Well, you know, I see lots of possibilities with a team that's just started to be standalone. Uh, the opportunity for uh, young players to develop and come here and, uh, you know, further their footy career, wanting to get redrafted, get back in the AFL, no worries at all. I'm, uh, I'm the person who can help them do that. But at the same time, uh, because it's a community club and uh, it's really about the community here, it's, it's just got such a warm feel about it. So uh, I'm really looking forward to meeting the supporters and, uh, and working with the, uh, the more senior players as well to... Uh, to build their uh, ability, but also their leadership and uh, their understanding of uh, what makes a great club. No doubt you would have had quite a good chance to examine the VFL landscape in your time at Richmond. Um, it's been a, a pretty prominent source of, of draft talent in, in recent years. What's your take on the VFL and its space in the uh, footy landscape? Yeah, it's a great... Uh it's a great competition. Uh, there's no doubt that if the players are driven and they really want to uh, uh, get somewhere, you know, I suppose Kane Lambert was a, a perfect example for me, uh, came into the system uh, a little unsure of himself. And I think uh, most of the, the, uh, the job of the coaches is to make sure that the players believe in themselves and, and then, uh, you know, do the best they can. Uh, young players is obviously um, a big area of focus for you and you've developed a reputation for uh, mentoring and, and developing young players. Um, what, what are the skills and attributes that, uh, that you have that have made you um, so renowned in that area, do you think? Uh, first of all, I'm a teacher. So uh, uh, when it comes to all the skills, I, I can easily see the, the, the problems and then uh, put my arm around the players and, and give them the solutions. And you know, if we work together, we'll get great results. And as I said, uh, those that really want to and are driven, they get better results than those that uh, say they they, are, they talk about it but just don't do it. So, you know, there's players out there, if, you're, uh, if you miss the draft, if you're, uh, you're thinking, gee, uh, how am I going to uh, get better? I'm stuck somewhere. Things aren't working. Whether you're, you know, whether you're 18 or whether you're uh, 25, I'm uh, certainly interested in you. Werribee is a community club, as you've touched on, and uh, you spent a bit of time in the community space last year, uh, oh, sorry, over the last two years, coaching Ajax, and a bit of a different role from what you've had previously. Um, has that given you any insights into community football and, and uh, a, a chance to experience something that you maybe hadn't before? Uh, well, everyone wants to talk about the differences, but uh, I think great clubs are great clubs no matter where, and uh, you know the, the people that support the clubs, the people that are behind them, whether they're the members or the, uh, the volunteers, um, uh, it just makes uh, into a great club. You know, Port Adelaide had probably 10 or 15 uh, older people, whether men or women, who come and help do the barbie, pump the balls up, clean the boots, all that stuff. And we're certainly looking for those sort of people here at Werribee to, uh, to come and help us and be part of our team. And we'll certainly treat them uh, as important as the players and the coaches. Uh, and I think it's great for the self-esteem of uh, older people as well. So uh, understanding that is important. We look, uh, you know, to include the uh, the multicultural aspect of this community. It's uh, so diverse, and you know, nothing uh, uh, is more important to me than uh, getting some of the multicultural kids up and uh, playing footy uh, because I know they got some special talents. A bit to play out between now and the start of pre-season. What does that look like for you? Are you out on the campaign trail, shaking hands and kissing babies and that sort of thing? Uh, Julia Gillard, I hear she's our, uh, <laughs> our patron and uh, she's probably uh, the best at being able to tell me how to do that. But uh, typically for me, uh, we're trying to find coaches, we're trying to find players, we want to make this the, uh, the best place it can be and a, a destination club for people. Gee, we've got to get there and uh, how, how do I get to Werribee? And, uh, you know, it might take a little bit of time, but uh, when people get to hear what it's like, uh, the excitement, you know, I, I, I'm about motivation, I'm about... Um, you know, coming up with different things to, to make players learn and, uh, and make it simple, um, 
but showing the care that uh, you know they really believe that uh, this is a great club and their coaching staff really do uh, care about their development. Well, Mark, I'm sure I speak for all the Werribee faithful when I say we're really looking forward to seeing um, what the future holds in, in 2019 with you at the helm. Um, I'm sure we'll have the chance to speak again soon, but um, thanks for your time today. Yes, and uh, all you Werribee supporters come and uh, rejoin, join up as quickly as you can, and uh, love to meet you and uh, we'll talk about our future. Thanks, Mark. No worries.